We are at Riverlands Bird Sanctuary and we are looking at the uh, spring 2013 digital tool fabrication project from Washington University. You're looking at either an avian observatory or a bird blind is more commonly uh, commonly called, which was a partnership between the Washington University School of Architecture and the Audubon Society at Riverlands and the Rivers Project Office, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And we're actually sitting right on the edge of what is called Heron Pond, which is a managed wetland that the Army Corps uh, actively manages to provide wetland habitat specifically for migratory birds that are flying uh, up and down the Mississippi. This architecture studio was specifically kind of engaging digital technologies, both in terms of the design itself, so computer modeling of the project, but also in terms of fabrication. Students actually 3D modeled an incredibly sort of dynamic and unique structure, but then also took those computer models and translated them into actual cut files that they would then fold and assemble into the structure that we see. So the students both 3D modeled it kind of digitally and also fabricated the project. Luckily, we all got to work on sort of every aspect of the project. I've been out here actually helping put the thing together. Very very exciting for me because I never get to use all these kind of different tools before and it's amazing starting from the framework, formworks and everything to the end. It's one thing to see on the computer how things are put together, but once you actually have it physically in your hands and you see the different scale of it and you realize that you didn't account for tolerances for things to fit together right, you know, and you get we get better at it as we go along. So it's been a great, great process. Yeah, I'm really happy. This is like oh. This is pretty much the same as what I see on the computer screen. We see like some different effects that we never see from the 3D model, like such as like how the lighting goes on and like how the actual colors work with the environment and stuff. So we've had a couple people come out since we started building it and they've actually picked up on some of the design cues. You know, they walk up on the cantilever and they're like, oh, I can see the pond from here. Or they see that the windows are shaped the way they are and they're like, oh, so people of different heights can be comfortable viewing out. And they're really picking up on those things and it's, it's great.